Welcome to this video on UI Pass to Web. My name is Hélène Boutier, I'm a UI Pass Puzzle Professional and the founder of my telephone. In today's video, I would like to show you how you can easily build yourself your own smartphone. If you're the CEO of a small company or work in the finance department, you were probably overwhelmed at the end of last year with the VAT declaration and the preparation of the tax return. Let me show you how this year you can make your life easier combining automation and artificial intelligence. Are you ready? Let's do it. You see my OneDrive here, and I have a folder that contains all the invoices that I received this year. What I would like to do is to build a bot that will extract all the information from these invoices and put them in a table like the one you see here. So to build an automation, you're going to go to the UM Passpad platform. And here, what you can see is the Studio Web. This basically means that you do not need to install anything to build your automation. You can directly create your bot in the UI Passpad platform. And if you're a Mac user, you're also able to do that. So I'm going to create a new project. I'm going to start my bot manually and I need to get my invoices in uh, my OneDrive. So I'm going to use a for each file activity and get all the files in my OneDrive. So here I'm already connected to my OneDrive. If you're not, you just need to create a connection uh, between UiPath and OneDrive. And then I need to indicate where are my invoices. So I just need to pick uh, the folder that contains all my invoices. So I'm going to get invoices here. For each file in uh, the folder invoices, for each invoices basically, I want to extract the data from these invoices. So I'm going to use an extract document data activity which is part of the document understanding solution. This is an AI solution, but I do not need to be a machine learning expert to use it. I'm going to use predefined models that have been trained by UiPath on thousands of invoices, for example. So here I'm going to use this extractor called invoices, and this extractor is going to give me all this information that are the ones that you find on an invoice. So I'm going to be able to get the name of the vendor, uh, the PO number, uh, the total amount, and so on and so forth. So I can just pick one of the extracted fields that I want in my automation. So the input file is going to be all the invoices one by one. So I'm going to get the first invoice here, then the second one, the third one. So I'm going to use the current item, which is going to be the first item uh, in the loop. So the first invoice, then the second invoice, and the third one. So every time I extract the data from one invoice, I'm going to write it in my Excel, in my table. So I'm going to use a write row activity. I'm going to add a new row in my table for every invoice. So same story here, I need to indicate a workbook. So my Excel is in my OneDrive. It's called Invoice Tracker. So I'm finding it here. I have a range, I have a table, so I can use the name of my range here, table one and I'm going to insert a row for every invoice. So I'm selecting insert here. I have some headers. If you look at my Excel, I have two headers. I have a table with headers, so I need I, I can tell the bot to use the, the headers here. I'm going to set a row in the first position. So by default, zero basically means the first row after the headers. And I'm going to write information in multiple fields. So here, what I can do is to use the information that I have some headers to identify the columns with the name of the headers, basically. So here you see the bot was able to extract the headers and it's giving me the name of the columns using the headers. So that makes my life easier. In the column vendor name, I want to put the name of the vendor. And this is an information that I'm getting in the extract document data activity. It's one of the outputs from this activity. So I'm going to go and search for my vendor name, which is the first information here. And same for the invoice amount. I'm using an output from the extra document data activity and it's called total amount and I'm finding it here. So I'm just using the ones that I'm interested in for my automation. And that's it. I already created my automation so I can run it and see if everything is working fine. Uh, so the bot is going to go in my OneDrive. It's going to get all the invoices one by one. And for each invoice, it's going to extract the information from the invoice, add a new row, and on the new row added, write the information about the invoice. 
On the right side, you can see in the output panel some information about my bot that is running. And in the middle, you can see the bot doing all the steps. So you see here, the bot was able to write the first invoice. Then it's, it's extracting the information from the second invoice, writing it in the Excel. So I can really see uh, what the bot is doing. And if I go to my Excel, I'm also going to be able to see what the bot is doing. If I just refresh the page, you can see the bot writing some information. It just has written the third invoice information. And uh, the bot is going then to process the last invoice. And then you're going to see it adding a row and writing the information from the last one. So that's it. The bot is successful. Everything worked fine. So I can publish my bot. And if I want to share it to a colleague, it's very simple because I can just click here on the share button and drop the email of my colleague. That's very simple. All right. So this was a uh, use case with only four invoices. But imagine if you have thousands of invoices to process this way, this would save you a lot of time. If you want to test it, I just use some templates that I found on Google. So you can also download some invoices from Google and just build your automation that way. All right. Thanks a lot for watching. And remember, if you hate something, just automate it. Thank you and see you soon.